Hi there, I'm Dusty Rains, and uh, I noticed that there is an Osage Nation Visitor Center here in Pawhuska, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and I thought that my viewers might be interested in exploring it with me. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, lead us on a quick tour. Of, there's a lot of things in here. <laughs> Tell the story behind them. So the Osage Nation Visitor Center, all we accept is native artists, Osage artists uh, mainly. Um, we feature a lot of Osage art, like Joe Don Brave, Jessica Harjo over here with the earrings. Um, and then Jen Tiger, um, but that's all we accept. It's all sold by consignment. And um, the artists kind of decide what we have in store, and that's what kind of makes it unique. And, I see. Um, it's always best to buy native art from native communities. <laughs> Wonderful. And in Jen Tiger's case, we have horse hair, we have buffalo hair, we have buffalo nickel, beautiful art. And then on the very bottom, we have otter, an otter cap, cedar chest, feather boxes. And then up here on top, we have our laser engraved Nisquiam Ogapo, which is salt and pepper. Okay. And we engrave those in house. All right. All right. Here we have Jude on Brave. He has cards. Wonderful art on them. Oh yes. Then we have a lot of hats. The Osage Seal, Native Feather, the Osage Nation Ranch. We have Pendletons, and then this one is done by the Osage Nation Foundation. Um, this one will never be made again, and it features um, our orthography and oh. wonderful colors. Wonderful. And then these are rock set red corn prints. Beautiful Indian corn. Whole bunch of stickers, whole bunch of art. And there's lots of artwork on the wall over oh, yeah. here. We'll give everybody a glance and it's like uh, there's some beautiful clothing here. Are these made locally as well? Yeah, so everything in here is local, um, okay. even our coffee. We have two coffee brands, and they're both locally brewed, or not brewed, but okay. roasted in town, um, Ikoe right. and Makashape. Um, this is Jessica Harjo. This is Beyond the Sky, her Beyond the Sky collection. We have really cute little tops for kids. Oh, yeah. A lot of cute stuff in here. And then these prints up here are Roxad Red Corn. Um, I like the way she captures light in her work. Yeah. And then we have a lot of t shirts over here. These are Jodon Brave, and they print, he prints his artwork on them. Oh, very colorful. Very colorful. And then we have a lot of the seal, seal t shirts. We have aprons, we have blankets, and then we have Jessica Harjo's leggings, her apparel brand. Okay. And then on this other wall, we have Joe Don Brave and Ted's in the middle. Very bright colors. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> over on this wall, we have our information station. Oh, okay. And this features the Osage Nation Museum, the Osage Nation Historical Society Museum, and the Ben Johnson Museum. Um, just a few things in town to do. And we also have a map of Bahuska, which is like an animated little map. Um, it just shows all the little town or all oh, the yeah. little shops in town. Okay. Um, all the little restaurants and things like that. And then we also have some information on, you know, COVID guidelines. And then we have printed off maps and things like that. All right. We got one more wall up here, and it looks like there's some writing up there, which I do not understand. I bet that you do. That is Wajaji, so that is who we are as a people. Okay. Um, we, our original name is Wajaji, but Osage was given to us by the French because they couldn't pronounce Wajaji. That happens a lot, <laughs> seems to be. And then we have some Osage comic books over here. We have an Osage artist who writes comic books. Oh. These are really keen. We have the Owl, the Osage Guardian. Really good art in here. Yeah. 
really cool. And then we have a lot of really cool books if you want to learn more. Um, this is a really good one if you're more into art mm -hmm. and the symbolic meaning behind most of our art that we have. Yeah. Um, Life in o as an Osage writer. This one would be good to read if you want to learn right. a little bit more. We also have the Fairfax Chief newsletter um, for purchase if you want to learn more about the area and things going on. Okay. Then we have a soap brand. And then we have a lot of traditional stuff mixed in, like our lunch pails. Um, we have buckets over there next to our coffee mugs. Okay. And we have ornaments, these little cute meat pie ornaments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and going back to the books over here, I must confess. I have a lot of ignorance about the Osage people mm -hmm. and their history and how uh, the people have changed over a period of time, uh, what traditional cultures uh, <coughs> may be still practiced, one mm -hmm. thing and another. Do you have any resources that help we with some of those We do have resources. Um, so everything in our library is kind of like trying to rehome old books you know from our library so everything here is like there's some good information here but other places to get information would probably be the osage nation museum to learn okay. more history about us um and that is up on grand view um it's on campus and there's also our veterans memorial up there um with a bunch of statues about previous chiefs or other um figures that we uh, oh, okay yeah yeah, well, I'll be sure to try to make a stop by over yeah. there, see if I can find someone who will host a tour. I was under the impression that right across the street over here where there is a uh, track-mounted artillery weapon. Can't hardly sit through the door there. I'll try to catch it as I get outside <laughs> um, as I leave. I was under the impression that that was the war memorial. Yeah, so that is for the town of Pahuska, but ours, the Osage Nations, okay. for um, the Wajaj people is up there. Okay. Right next to, it's right behind our um, museum. All right. And I noticed a sign that indicated that there is a heritage walking trail. Yeah, so that trail Parking over, lot for it yeah. here. So the trail across the street, um, it has some signage outside and some history on it. Okay. Um, it's about a mile long. Um, there's two paths and one is fully paved and it leads, and you get like three points where you can see Bird Creek. Um, and then it leads to a park at the very end. And then the other one is like the nature trail where it's like mulched. Um, and that one's about a half mile. So all okay. together, if you do both, it's about a mile and a half. So and this like a, uh, a walking path that's been around for a long, long time? No, so this is fairly new. I think it got brought to Pahuska maybe four years ago, okay. if I'm correct. Um, this is still new. This The Osage Nation Visitor Center is about three years old. Um, okay. But after our expansion, we're gonna offer a whole lot more, like I said previously. Um, we're gonna have a coffee bar, a more chill area, and then we're gonna expand our sales floor. Okay. And then have like a little patio, you know, area. All right. And looks like, uh, oh, look at these beautiful cedar boxes here. Very nice. Just the right size for, to contain many different kinds of things. Yeah. Even a hope chest. <laughs> small one <laughs> uh, for small hopes, I guess. Yeah. And over here is the coffee that you mentioned previously, mm -hmm. and then the buckets the down below. Joe Don Brave does these coffee cups, and we have a lot of cool designs. This is old Bahusco way back in the day that he painted. Oh yeah. When I was here last year, they were working on the downtown area mm -hmm. to uh, uh, be the street scenes. For, for killers the, of killing the, the killers of the flower moon, flower moon. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, do you know what is significant about the flower moon in particular? Um, well, killers of the flower moon affected um, Osage back in the day. Um, so we hit 
oil and you know as things go yeah. um people got greedy and okay. um just led to a lot of very tra tra traumatic events um okay. i definitely recommend the book okay um to tell the story it's about the osage people and the birth of the fbi and um okay. it really explains it a lot better so. all right <laughs> well once again, I would like to know, is there a significant meaning behind the words flower or moon? Oh, well, no, there's, I, it's just the way the author decided to name the book. I there's see. really no significance behind to it, to my people. knowledge at okay. least. Um, okay. But I think that's just the way he wanted to name it. I understand. <laughs> Taking a little bit of literary license yeah. there, yeah, I yeah. guess. It has nothing to do with those age people. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, um, before I take off altogether, I'm going to scan a little bit of the outside of the building so that when people come to Pahuska, they, know uh, they uh, can immediately recognize it, especially because mm -hmm. of the colorful buffalo that's right outside the yeah. door. Six. And it's on Highway 60. Yeah. And believe it or not, Highway <laughs> right 60 goes 602. right through my hometown of Amarillo. <laughs> Keen, keen. We're on yeah. 602 East Main Street in Pahuska, Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there is the Heritage Walking Trail and there is the museum. Mm -hmm. What other types of things can I check out while I'm in the area? I definitely check out downtown. I mean, there's old buildings. There's a lot of cool, if you're into that, old infrastructure. Um, the Osage Nation Museum is the oldest tribally owned museum in the United States. Mm -hmm. Opened in 1938. Back in the day, it used to be a boarding school. It was the chapel the museum is. Um, it's the last standing infrastructure from back then. All right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add before I take off to my next stop? Way uh, bueno. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, that was a wonderful visit. And if you do come to Pahuska and uh, need a little bit of a visual clue as to where this is located, there is actually a uh, traffic signal at this intersection, which everyone has to stop at. And it's one of very few traffic signals in Paul Husk all together. <laughs> so uh, that's one way to recognize this corner and of course this sign and this colorful buffalo stands out fairly easily there, as you can see. And then once again, this flag is huge. I'm talking huge. It's got to be at least 40 feet long, possibly 20 feet high. It's awesome. But it's also the parking lot for the Heritage Trail and that dang Jeep parked right in front of the sign. There we go. So you can park here, and then the beginning of the Heritage Trail is right back over there in that direction. Well, I, oh, and on that Heritage Trail, there is a wooden bridge that goes over the Bird River. Um, you might be interested in taking a look at that. And I'm, like I say, the other end of the trail, a noisy truck over there, is a little park where that wooden bridge is, and there's also a uh, playground for children over there. So, And I noticed that they have some uh, Frisbee golf goals that are being put up as well. Here I am rambling. This ends it for now. Thank you very much.